Greetings, WordPressers. In today's show, have you ever tried to describe to a client what a Gravatar is? Jackson here, welcome to the channel, my place on YouTube for all things WordPress and connected stuff. If you are new here, then I do encourage you to subscribe and check out the description below. It's got lots of juicy links to loads of juicy stuff. But anyway, on to with today's show, a bit of, bit of a quick tip, but a beauty for you. Gravitars, you know that thing. And if you don't know that thing, well, it's the thing that is an online, online service that's kind of connected with WordPress that hosts your profile image that is then connected to your email address uh, that then can pull that into WordPress uh, automatically without you having to do anything, although you had to set up a, an account on anyway, you kind of, you, are, you, are you with me? And then it shows your image. If you've got an author section in your blog post with a picture of you, now you try explaining that to a client. It's just, it's it's tough at best. And also there's a few objections. Well, quite a few objections. Well, I had to sign up to another service. You know, I like WordPress, but I don't like having to. So to kill off any of those conversations, unless I'm dealing with a world, real WordPress fangirl or fanboy as a client, what I tend to do is just install this wicked plugin. And in today's show, it's just a very quick tutorial about the plugin and how you can use it for your author blog, your blog or your blog author's images. Okie dokie, let's get our Gravatar author image woes behind us. Okay, so here I've got a demo site set up. It is the rather glorious Hunts. Uh, and you will see if we go to our blog section and go hit up a blog, we indeed are oh, no image. Now, I do actually have a Gravatar image, and you'll see that if you go to uh, my profile on wordpress.org or other various places. But the issue here is that my profile on this site is not actually using my connected email address. So uh, what I need to do is either change that to my Gravatar email address, or maybe I don't want to have my email address the same as my Gravatar address, uh, which is the case in probably more than 50% of the sites that I'm involved with. And of course, trying, as I explained in the intro, trying to explain Gravatar to your client. Mm, well, that as discussed previously. So here we go. This is what we're going to use, uh, which is our plugin of the day, WP user avatar user profile picture by uh, Profile Press, which uh, a very well supported plugin updated only two weeks ago, 400,000 active installs, which is pretty chunky for any uh, WordPress plugin. So let's go and grab uh, the text here and go back to our demo site and let's go and install a plugin. Add a new plugin. We'll search the repo for that text and we should get that as the first one. We'll install it now and activate that little fella. Click that. And that's activated. Okay, we're in business. Now, if we go to my profile, we scroll down to our, oh, we can choose an image now. So click on that, we get the regular WP uh, image library. We're gonna go upload a file. We'll grab our file and we shall drop it into our upload. And there he is, Jackson. The picture I want specifically for this website. Set that as okay. Back to our update we now have that saved it up there let's go back to our site we're going to go to the front end and visit our blog again and now with a little bit of wordpress magic we do indeed have our avatar much simpler than trying to explain gravatar to your clients wouldn't you agree so there you go, WP uh, user avatar by Profile Press. Thank you, gentlemen, for such a wonderfully simple and brilliantly useful plugin that saves me a lot of time. Um, but do, uh, folks, let me know what you want uh, to comment on in uh, in the comments below. Uh, let me know what your views are on all things WordPress. Uh, what do you want to see uh, in future vids and anything else that's on your mind? But until next time, I shall see you later.